Hello everyone, my name is Oworo Tet, the founder of Road Safety and Safe Driving Practices. In the following series, you get to learn. Welcome. Side mirrors. Before I talk about side mirrors, I want you to understand that the vehicle has several types of mirrors. Each and every mirror that I am going to mention has a very valued, valued and valid safety measure. I want to start by mentioning the types of vehicle mirrors that we have. I will mention about five. Number one, the rear view mirror. You are seated in that car facing the front. The manufacturers thought it wise that you might need to see what it has a back. I keep saying, when you have a child on the back seat, do not look back. The moment you look back, your ability to control the front is zero. You're probably going to crash and cause us pain. Then the engineers decided to create you a rear view mirror so that you sit and you can always check to be able to eliminate or know or be aware of what happens. The side mirrors, today I want to dwell deep on the side mirrors. Then we have the towing mirrors. Later I will break and show you how it looks like, what it is used for. Not a common mirror in our country, but people who tow caverns, people who tow camping houses, they know the essence of this towing mirror. Then we have wide angle mirrors. Yes, you are in the traffic jam waiting, probably bored. And then some guy comes with a very small mirror but gives you a wide range. They are mostly circular. And they ask you, if you stick this on your side mirror, you'll be able to see it's a wide angle mirror. Some of us call it the blind spot mirror. Then they have the power window mirrors or the manual roll up mirrors. These are on your windows. And then when you press the button, you can be able to close those mirrors. So what is a side mirror? A side mirror is an aid, reflective aid, attached on the edges of the car, probably attached to the doors of the driver to help eliminate, to help open up the blind spots of that vehicle that you are not able to see. We have the right side mirror, we have the left hand side mirror, right hand side mirror positioning them is vital but wait why are they there because they know the manufacturers know when you are driving a lot of concentration is needed but at the same time into your ever changing surrounding you have to be aware so they decided to create a reflective part of the car that has mirrors to help you see what you need to know about the side mirrors is some are convex lenses. When you look at them, you might think somebody is very far. On the contrary, they are so close. So the side mirrors are there to help you eliminate, to help you learn, create awareness of your own surrounding inside the car into your ever changing environment. Most of us do not know how to set the side mirrors. In this model of car, the W124 Mercedes Benz, you realize that the left side mirror is smaller compared to the right side mirror. Reason being, the left side compared to the right side mirror. And why is this so? The left side has the largest blind spot. This vehicle was meant for a left-keeping country. And you find that a lot of activities 
take place on the left side of the road that is why we have our vips sitting on the back left that is why we have children being put to sit on the back seat and the operation is safe from the left side of the vehicle and that is why uh, we always urge when you stop we when we stop the car we urge passengers to alight or disembark the car on the left side because in Kenya we are a left keeping country so it is considered a safe side we overtake people who are on the left so we have to protect them we have to take good care of them on the left and you realize the side mirror on the left is a bit smaller because the manufacturer of this vehicle knew people would use the left side a lot there is a lot of human activity and that is why we always say keep left while driving until overtaking left side is a blind spot the right side is a blind spot but the left is the largest and that is why they help you put the mirror there to learn how to see scan and that is why in school you are told every three to four seconds check on your mirror to be aware because our roads are crowded they are ever-changing environments you might check and see it's clear but then when you come back to check you find something new compared to what you saw when you last checked learn to use yourself mirrors i i get i get pain when i see people driving with their side mirrors locked inside and it's like oh my god how will they even be aware of their surroundings these things are happening Road safety are measures put in place. What measure are you putting in place to ensure the serviceability of your side mirror? It is there for your own awareness. Somebody has lost brakes. They are putting hard lights, flashing you lights to try and warn you. You're not even checking on your mirror. It is your responsibility as a driver. It is your responsibility as a cyclist. It is your responsibility as a motorcyclist to always have a side mirror and check. Having it is mandatory. Checking it graduates you from being a vehicle mover to a driver. We have three types of situations that a defensive driver has to know. Number one is awareness. How will you then become aware if you don't check on your mirrors? If you find this message worth, click the subscription button. Copy the URL and share it up there. I might be using my side mirrors so well, but somebody is not using their side mirror because they don't have this intelligence I am giving you. If you share out this intelligence to 10 people, 10 people will be aware of the road and we will have increased the level of safety a notch higher. If the 10 people share with other 10 people, we become more knowledgeable.